motherfucker just called me talking about, bro, they just granted this bitch half of every fucking thing, my savings account. I Sir, you responded to the restraining order with a personal email to me, the person who's trying to restrain you. Does that make any sense? Hey, y'all, welcome back to All Things Jenny. I'm Jenny. She took everything after the divorce. I love that for her. I hate that for him. Let's get into it. But I really just had to pull the fuck over. I'm at work on the fucking semi truck. Why the fuck I had divorce court today and my wife is telling me the whole time that, oh, you don't got to go to court. I'm going to make sure everything good. I'm not going to get you for nothing. I just need to bring my sister for what the fuck she say for a witness or some shit. Bro, motherfucker just called me talking about. Bro, they just granted this bitch half of every fucking thing, my savings account. I'm thinking she like see your social security number. She talking about because they making me put you on child support. Which I'm like, you can just take me off. It's cool. But, bro, the bitch put me on child support. Fucking alimony. Took half of my savings account. Bro, took my, my the safe that I kept at her house. Basically, I had to give her the combination to this shit court fucking order. Bro, this bitch just took me up top. Bro. bro, the bitch put me on child support. Fucking alimony. Took half of my... I find this so funny. Like, I love this for you, sis. Because that man is definitely codependent and was dealing out some emotional abuse and some weaponized incompetence. Because it's the same thing my ex is trying to claim right now. Talking about, oh, you, you can't you can't put all these restrictions in 300 yards is too much. Sir, you responded to the restraining order with a personal email to me, the person who's trying to restrain you. Does that make any sense? And now you're mad because it's going through the court without you because you didn't respond. You thought a personal email to me was a response. Even though the court documents that you were served with has free legal advice on there. It already tells you what form you need to respond with. I had to go sit and wait for legal aid or either pay for a lawyer to be told what form to sign up for. So the fact that this nigga is emailing me is hilarious. Like men really just think that you belong to them. Even after the breakup, even after the divorce, anything, they still think that you're supposed to have their good interest in mind. Are you boo boo the fool? But I really just had to pull the fuck over. I'm at work on the fucking semi truck. Well, that, that, that's on you, brother. That is on you. And from truck driver to truck driver, I gotta let you know, sometimes you gotta get off this road and handle your business. And what you did not do was say it with me now handle your business now she didn't hit you with the wabbledy dabbledy and i wonder how that went i'm just saying me personally i don't think she just woke up and chose violence and be like i'm gonna divorce you and stuff you knew you were going through that divorce so all the respect is going out the motherfucking window to the wall from the sweat trip down yo but anyway she hit you with that wabbledy dabbledy she gave you that shit. She gave you some and said, hey, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. You ain't even got to show up to court. I promise you everything going to be all right. I'm going to get somebody to speak on your behalf. Really, motherfucker? Is she your lawyer, too? Is she your lawyer, too? Motherfucker, is this suits? As long as I got my suit and tie. <laughs> oh, yo, fault. Your fault. I blame you, brother, because you knew she was hitting you with that divorce. You knew she was coming after your shit. What you did not do was handle, say it with me now, your business. Because she didn't hit you with that what? That wabbledy down. But I really just had to pull the fuck over. I'm at work on the fucking semi truck. You got played, buddy. You got played. <sighs> And uh, having sons, it's real, it's real tough for me because I'm a woman, I'm mama, and, and I can be understanding to the female, but I, 
also have to be open to be understanding to a male because I got sons. Because I have sons, I have to always listen to both sides and, and, and be fair and as equal as possible. That's, to me, one of the benefits of having sons. You know, it gets you to see from other perspectives you wouldn't normally see if you didn't have boys that you were raising um, and, and wanted the best for them and, and want them to thrive and, and do good and make it in relationships too with others. It's, it's not fucking easy. <laughs> it's not easy. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I'm sure this dude knows when it comes to trust... And believing that someone you are with, I don't know how many years they were together, that don't even matter, you know. But you just have to watch your back at the end of the day. Even if you are in a healthy relationship, even if it is going good, you have to watch your back in that way. And if you love them, you're going to make things as peaceful as possible. And if you're getting a divorce and you were with that person and you loved them, you owe them that respect and you need to be equal and as fair as possible. You just gotta... You gotta do it that way. And I am sorry, dude. Look, he's he's crying, guys. He's crying. And I'm not making fun of him, but, like, he's really hurt by this. Like, damn. I, I really hope he can recover. And... and if he wants to be in a relationship with another, I, I really hope it doesn't affect him too much to where he misses out on, on good. Because just as much as I know there's a lot of people we can't trust out there, there are good ones. We just have to be smart. We have to be wise. We have to learn from shit. And I'm sorry you have to feel this shit because it's some fucked shit. <sighs> Anyways, look at this guy. It's nice out. Watch this and tell me. What's the one thing you wish everyone around you knew about getting divorced? To not take it personally when people project their own shame, guilt, and inner turmoil onto you. Um, the fact that you will learn that a lot of people are physically, sexually, emotionally, spiritually divorced from their spouse, but they lack the bravery you do to say, this is enough. I want something different. I want better. Because let's be clear, you can have a good co-parenting relationship. You can fall in love again. You can even get remarried. But you have to stop and say, I don't want this. I want better for myself. And I deserve better. And sometimes you saying I deserve better triggers like other people. And so don't take it personally. Don't let their negativity and pessimism, pessimism excuse me, overshadow the fact that you're choosing yourself and you're choosing joy divorce court today and my wife is telling me the whole time that oh you don't gotta go to court I'm a <sighs> man Unk, you a walking lick man Woo -hoo -hoo. first of all how you gonna trust a woman you getting a divorce from like she divorcing you like like how you will have that much trust she telling her, oh well you don't gotta go to court it's not blah 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 I'm not gonna take none of your stuff <laughs> Boy, she went to court here and go. The judge gave her gave her half of his shit. Of course, nigga, that's a no show. You gotta be present for what you call it. You gotta be present for your divorce, or you, or you gotta have your lawyer go. Or you gonna get hit in the head? Nah, nah, what you call it? He he got he gotta give her half of his savings, half of everything. Even his, he's even his saving her house. You gotta give her half. Boy, man. <sighs> Bro, she, first of all, she, she getting a divorce with me. She already bitter. How you even trust her to even listen to anything she got to tell you? Oh, man. Now he in the, he, now he, he in, he in the van crying. <laughs> now he in the van crying, bro. Oh, man, boy. <sighs> Fuck, I had divorce court today, and my wife is telling me the whole time that, oh, you don't got to go. I tell men all the time. I tell clients all the time. I don't care what they told you. I don't care um, 
if you don't think you was disputing what they was originally asking for. I don't care if you say, oh, I ain't really got much for them to take, da 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 You are in the middle of a divorce, and which is technically a lawsuit. It is a family lawsuit. It is initiated by filing a complaint. A judgment slash order is entered at the end with a judgment against you. Well, it's not technically against you, but it could be depending upon the outcome. You always have to go. You always have to appear unless an attorney tells or the court tells you otherwise. Do not trust the person you are currently separating from to tell you what is supposed to happen in the proceedings. That, that, because if you are in the midst of a divorce, there's a breakdown somewhere between you two. Whether it's communication, whether it's train of thought, whether it is ideology, whether it is attraction, whatever there is, there has been a breakdown between you two. So therefore you cannot, you cannot accept the word of the person Who's divorcing you? Come on. So I'm sorry this brother found out the hard way. Hard way. I will say this though. Generally speaking, depending upon how long you've been married, there's an equitable division of assets that have accrued throughout the marriage. So if that entire bank account accrued before you got married, I mean, during the life of the marriage, it's going to be split. If you two have been separate and not living together, been taking care of your own expenses, etc., etc., then you have more argument to not split those things. If the person is working, has always worked, uh, has a degree, anything like that, then it is less likely that you're going to have to pay alimony or spousal support. Okay, if you have, and, and, and you had a safe that you left at the house with the person that you're in the midst of a divorce from, do. So this was a hard lesson learned, but hopefully it's a warning for others. Get you an attorney or at least show the fuck up. Show up. So all you got to do is show up. And then you could have voiced your concerns of what you wanted her to have, what you wanted to keep, what you wanted to split, what you wanted to do, how you wanted to break things down, argue against spouse support, possibly go to mediation or something. But failing to appear is horrible in any court case because by default... The other person appearing is likely to get what they want against you. Okay? And it is hard to undo a divorce judgment. Okay? For the property split when you have failed to appear. You have to have good arguments to argue against it. And you know what? I'm going to give you wife the benefit of the doubt. She may not have known that is what was going to happen. She, If she didn't have an attorney, she may have honestly thought that, okay, well, this is what the court says, how this has to be split by law. So, okay, it's a possibility. It is possible. However, one, don't ever not go to court. Always show up to court. Number two. Don't listen to the person that you're divorcing or getting divorced from. Number three, consult with an attorney. Even if you don't retain them for the entirety of the divorce, but when if you have questions, that, that, that consult, paying for a consult, can still save you thousands of dollars. It can. And some you can do on limited appearance. You can actually hire an attorney, not for the entirety of the case, but for a limited appearance. And a limited appearance means solely to appear for a particular hearing on your behalf, solely to draft a document, solely to appear for a motion, something along those lines. That is what that means, okay? 
So don't learn a lesson the hard way like this young man did. Call Kiana. Why would the court reward her everything? First of all, smart move. I love that for her. Very smart lady. But did she take everything or did the court award her everything because they feel she is entitled to everything? And I'm pretty sure it couldn't possibly be everything, sir. It's not going to be your entire paycheck or everything that you work hard for. You'll be able to keep a little bit of something. But my thing is, did she take everything or did they re awarded her everything because you weren't there to fight your case? And I'm pretty sure you are on TikTok complaining about this and crying on TikTok because you did not win. You didn't win. She did. So therefore, you are butthurt about that. And sorry to hear that. But my thing is, the court would have awarded you whatever it is they feel you are entitled to if you were there to fight your case. Because I believe you are just bitter now because she received everything or according to you. But I'm pretty sure she did not receive everything. Every everything. Every dime that comes out of your paycheck, I don't think so. But you knew that you were getting a divorce. What did you think this was? What did you think this was? Huh? I'm sure there's a reason why you are getting a divorce. Why wouldn't you show up to divorce court? Why wouldn't you show up to court when you were supposed to? Why wouldn't you show up to sign the papers? Because why? You it probably most likely in the entire relationship, you relied on her to do it each and everything so she probably know your signature from left and right i hope she did not forge your signature but um like you said you sent everything over even the the safe code you sent that over too because you were too busy to take some time off to actually mind the business that is very important in your favor you know what i mean so why would you allow her now i'm talking about you on your behalf why would you allow her to do everything in the divorce do you not know how divorce works sir do you not know how divorce is supposed to work you're supposed to be there to fight your case and so the judge can basically make their decisions but if you are not there then they're just going to hear her side and her side only because the plaintiff is not there to to defend himself so therefore i think you're really upset because she was able to walk away with something I believe if she was able to walk away with absolutely nothing except headaches that she received in the during the mar the duration of the marriage and the children and all you had to worry about is just sending child support, then I think you would have been fine with that. And the only thing, uh, and, and another thing too, is you're saying to not take put you on child support, you will take care of your child. We cannot guarantee that. She probably already know you. She probably already know that she cannot. You, she, you're not. Kate, you're not trustworthy enough for her to just, you know, expect you to take care of your children. Because if you guys were married for so long and you have children together and she feels she could trust you, then she would have just said, you know what, you're a good father. You're going to be there for your children. Then you're less co-parent, you know, like co-parents would and take care of our children. But she went ahead and put you on child support even after you told her that she shouldn't put you on child support because you'll take care of your children. I believe she did not trust you enough to do that. Because I don't think any parents, I'm not a parent myself, but I've seen and I've heard and I have siblings who have children, you know, I don't think any parent would want, at least I don't think in my, in my opinion, any parent will want to know, have to do the whole child support battle situation with their children if they are adult enough to take care of it outside of court. Because yes, it will be a lot more money to do it outside of court than I mean, not a lot. It would be less money to do it outside of court than to do it in court. But because she probably did not trust you, she felt like she had to go that route. She didn't want to have to chase you every month to take care of the children that you created. She didn't want to have to chase you every single month to come and see your children that you created with her. So she felt like that was the best route to go. So she went. And your job as the ex-husband to be was to come on the days that you know you have court so you can fight try to fight for your children and try to fight for whatever it is that you brought into the relationship into the marriage but you didn't do that because you were too busy working and i understand you have to work to pay for those fees and to pay for whatever it that is that she's going to you know take from you but she wouldn't take all these things if you were there to fight your case they would know 
award her all of those things if you were there to fight your case. So, sir, I think you're just mad because she was able to take, most likely half, because that's how it goes. It, it would be half and half. It wouldn't just be everything. She wouldn't be able to do that if you were there and you were there to basically fight your case. So that's my take on that. And like I said, I'm not a married person, nor am I a mother or anything like that. But common sense is just common sense. You cannot teach people common sense. Don't come on the internet. I hate people who literally put their com camera up and then, you know, start crying on the internet. Yes, I don't think you were really crying. But put all that information out, you know, it's, I don't know. I think, I think it's, it's just, I think you're just mad because she was rewarded, awarded a good amount of everything that is in the relationship, in the marriage, because you were not, um, you were not, uh, what's it called? Responsible enough to take some time off to go and represent yourself in court or even a lawyer to represent you in court because you thought she was still your best friend. You thought you guys were still best friends while well, you're going through a divorce. And that's kind of how divorce work. You have to fight your case. So anyway, sir, that's it for me. Guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.